song lyrics. Oh, the background music is perfect. All right. And what I need you guys to do, I need you guys to fill in the missing words to complete the lyrics of the pop up song. All right. We're going to generate this AI. Easy peasy. Oh, my bad. I forgot the answer number of questions. Don't be me. Let's shoot for five. Shoot for five. All right. Well, this thing is loading. So I'm Josh, as you guys don't know. Uh, full name is Joshua Scroggins, but please, please just call me Josh. We're friends here. I'll be teaching the class for today. And today we'll be going over adverbs of frequency. Um, I am an English teacher. I'm from America, lived there my whole life, native speaker. Uh, but now I live in Japan. And so don't look, don't look at the answers. Don't look at, don't look at the answers. We're going to save and launch. Don't look at the answers. No one look. There we go. Ah, oh, okay. Give me a second right here. There we go. All right, there we go. Event mode. All right. So please use your phones to follow this link, and I will also put it inside the chat. When you log into the quiz, remember to put in your email address. That's how we're going to find you to give you fun prizes. If we don't know who you are, then I get to keep your prize. I get to keep it and I get to eat it. It's uh, rules of the playground. Rules of the playground. All right. And while that's happening, I'm looking for some fun stuff to, man. Here we go, right here. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Let's do this one too. My phone's going slow. I don't know why. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll just have it right here. So yeah, remember to log in. All right, I think I think everyone's in. I think we have a good amount of people. All right, I'll give you guys 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Oh, actually, I can actually see how many people are in. All right, we actually need more people. All right, we're almost there. 30 seconds, guys. You can change your name to anything you want to. And what is this? Oh, so. All right, ready? All right, some people are already ready. Remember to log in. Go, go, go. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, let's do it. Let's go, 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 go. We gotta get out of here. We gotta go. Good luck, you guys. Wait, this is questions of three. Ah, only three questions. It's fine. For time's sake, that's totally fine. It's totally fine. Should be easy for you guys. Warm up then. That means an easy warm up. And this way we can spend more time in the lesson. It's totally fine. Let me see. What are we going to do? Ah. Hey, Judy. Don't make... You know, I'm be honest. I don't know these. But the faster you click, the more points you get. Let's do a list. There we go. All right, so we did our three question quiz. Somebody won. We don't know who somebody is, but somebody won. Second place, and we have English boy. So hopefully you guys got a good understanding of how to use these quizzes. So for the sake of time, it was three questions, but 
the next one be bigger. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I know. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, no, no. Okay, I got one thumbs up. Don't don't do that. I'm sensitive. I'm sensitive. You hurt my feelings. I raise my hand. Okay. Anyway. So, oh, welcome, welcome. So let's get started. While we're really here today, we're here to you know use this AI program, but also we're here to learn a little bit of English. So a little bit, maybe a lot of English. So the question, oh, the question I want to ask you guys before we start is, um, you know, when do you study English? In the chat, tell me. In the chat, tell me. When do you study English? Question of the day. There we go. Question of the day is when do you study English? Five years ago. Oh, okay. So that's when did you study English? I'm asking when do you study English? When do you study English? Ten years? Okay. All right. All right. Three years? Okay. Okay. At school? Okay. 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 All right, so let me type in the chat. Let me type in the chat. When do you? Ah, someone has it right. Okay, okay. When do you study English? At school? Okay, at school. So the next question is how many times a week? How many times a week? So hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight. Oh, someone, all right. Gives you a little bit of insight to what we'll be doing today. Adverbs of frequency. So adverbs of frequency. So let's zoom in. I have this lovely picture here, as I always do. No, go away. There we go. All right. And let's look at this picture. So we see this picture right here. And I won't disclose. Maybe or maybe not. That's my, my mom, my auntie, my dad. It may be my family. Who knows? But look at this, people. They look really, really happy. Maybe they're friends, maybe they're coworkers, maybe they're roommates, maybe you know these two are married and they have a friend. But question, do you think they're taking a picture, right? Why would they take a picture? Why would they take a picture? You know, they take a picture maybe because they want to say, oh, let's remember this moment, right? Let's remember this moment. And some people take pictures, yeah, for the memories, perfect for the memories. And maybe they don't see each other that much. Maybe they don't see each other. You know, they look older, right? Maybe they don't have time. So the question is, how many times do they meet? How often do they meet, right? And that's what we'll be talking about today. How often, they look really excited to see each other. So adverbs of frequency. So we use adverbs of frequency. So remember, adverbs modify the verbs. So we just add to the verb, add to the verb. Do a little dance with it. Add to the verb, adverb. There you go. All right. No one, no one, no one remember that I did that. Take pictures of every second. Really, someone has a good camera because I forget. All right. So right here. So we use we use adverbs to describe frequency of the activities we do. Frequency, this word right here, frequency means how many times? How many times? So this is to describe how many times? One time, two time, three time, four time. Frequency. And so this is an example of how we use it. So 100% of the time, so this is always, always. I always go to bed before 11 p.m. It happens every single day, 100% of the time. This is a habit. 90% of the time, usually, usually. So this is normal habit, but it, um, it doesn't have to happen. I usually have cereal for breakfast. I usually have cereal for breakfast. 80% of the time normally generally and these are these right here this is something that is very very used in english you'll see it everywhere you need to know this you need there's you need to there's just no way of getting around it you need to so right here so usually usually and normally you can mix these up as you want to 
but um, 90 and 80 percent still a good grade. So I normally go to the gym. I generally go to the gym. So this is still habit. This is still a habit. Here we have 70 percent often, frequently, often. And we'll talk about often. We'll talk about often. I often surf the Internet. To surf the Internet means to use the Internet. It's like an old way of saying it. Some people say it more, but because they're like, the internet, you can surf the internet. It's like, why would you say that? But yeah, to surf the internet means to use the internet. But I often do it 70% of the time. Oh, Josh, that's a nice shirt. Oh, I often buy things on Amazon. 70% of the time. Sometimes I go to the store, but I always, I always buy the best price. Sometimes. So this is eh, 50 50, 50 percent coin flip. I sometimes forget my wife's birthday. Do not forget your wife's birthday, please. If you're married, do not forget your wife's birthday. You should know your wife's birthday more than 50 percent of the time. So I sometimes forget my wife's birthday. So for me, I think um, at work, I sometimes forget my water bottle. So I'm, I'm thirsty all the time. And also, I often forget to charge my phone, so it's always dead. All right, so here's some things that you know. So uh, occasionally, occasionally, so 30% of the time. So this is this doesn't happen really too often. It's very rare. So occasionally I eat junk food as I have McDonald's today. Junk food is McDonald's, anything that's from a, a fast food restaurant. Junk food. It's not good for you. Or what is it? Cookies, chips, um, candy. It's not good for you. Junk food. I occasionally eat junk food. Seldom. Seldom. So personally, I think in the United States, we don't really use seldom. Maybe in the UK, but you still need to know it because someone may say it, but you will see it written down. I seldom read newspapers or seldomly. I hear seldomly a little bit more. I'll type seldomly here for you guys. Seldomly. You know. So this is 10% of the time. And right here, oh, all right, I changed it right back. It's fine. Right here. So hardly, hardly ever, rarely. So this means that it it most likely will not happen. I hardly ever drink alcohol. So that is me. I hardly ever drink alcohol. Only, only, only if I'm at like a big company event and everyone's doing it i don't want to be weird peer pressure and zero percent never i never swim in the sea so this is a zero do do so for me i never eat seafood i never eat fish i never do let me turn this off real quick because it's getting in the way all right sorry guys for this session there we go all right so these adverbs are called indefinite frequency. And the technical terms don't matter too much, but this is percentage, indefinite. Indefinite means that we don't know a number, but this gives us an idea. Oh, Josh, do you watch cartoons? Ah, I always watch cartoons. Ah, Josh, do you study English? I always study English at five o'clock. I usually study English at five o'clock. Sometimes I study English at five o'clock. or I never study English at five o'clock. So this means that at this time, I never do it. Yeah, so let's talk about the position in a sentence, right? Oh, before I go, any questions? All right, right here, we have some questions right here. So I can use hardly for other items as frequency. I mean, I hardly always. Ah, uh, no. You You usually need to pick one. So if you say I hardly always, this means that 100% of the times may happen. So yeah, so no. But good question though, good question. You can try it, but it, 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 people will look at you like, huh? All right, so right here. So it goes subject, adverb, main verb. So right here, so the subject is I, the adverb right here is our frequency verb for today. And the other verb is remember. I always remember to do my homework. He normally gets good marks in exams. 
All right, so right here. So after the verb to be, so it goes subject, to be verb, adverb. So remember, are is the many uh, plural, so many people uh, of to be. They are never pleased to see me. So please means happy. So these people are never happy when I come. So she isn't usually bad tempered. So is right here. This is the to be verb of is not negative. So usually not bad tempered. So maybe they're talking about a dog. All right. And let's look at subject, auxiliary verb, adverb, main verb. And right here. So she can sometimes beat me in a race. She can sometimes. I would hardly ever be unkind to someone. They might never see each other again. They could occasionally be heard laughing. All right. So we have this auxiliary verb can, would, might, could to exist. All right. So right here. So we can also use adverbs at the start of a sentence. So usually, normally, often, frequently, sometimes. So at the start, right? Occasionally. Occasionally, I eat Thai food. So it can go at the start of a sentence. But we cannot use the following at the beginning of a sentence. So you can't use always, seldom, rarely, hardly, ever. All right? So we use hardly, ever, never with positive, not negative verbs. So if, there's, if you use hardly, never, it needs to be positive not negative. So she hardly ever comes to my party. When you become more advanced, you can do a double negative. You can do a double negative. So she hardly ever does not come. And this is more sarcasm. This is kind of more being funny, being funny. All right. And here you have it with past perfect where we talk about experience. Have you ever been to New Zealand? So this is asking you, do you have this experience? Have you been to New Zealand? Have you ever, have you ever in your entire life of being alive? All right, so I'm gonna skip down. And so this is a little chart. If you wanna take a picture, you can take a picture of it. I'll zoom out. I thought this was a good thing to do. It's an easy summary. All right, sometimes it can be placed at the beginning, middle, end of sentence. How does their placement affect the nuance of the sentence and meaning? Ah, so the way that affects the nuance, really, it depends on what you want the listener to focus on, right? You want to focus on. I always eat chocolate. I always eat chocolate. So I want them to know that this, this is 100% of the time. So you can say, I eat chocolate always. So the nuance makes it seem like I'm not sure. I added at the end. And this is for spoken. This is for speaking only. So like I said, when you're doing, when you're writing something, you, you, just like the double negative, you can't use the double negative. But in sarcasm and comedy, we use double negative, right? He does not always wouldn't do this. It doesn't make sense when it comes out my mouth, but it means that this person never does this not. It's difficult, but it's for advanced learners. For you guys, just become comfortable with using it. All right, and I want to, so this is indefinite. So definite means exact, exactly. Definite is exactly. I want a definite date. I want a number. So this is indefinite. Definite is exact. So this is when you give people numbers every day, once a month, twice a year, four times a day. And I'm going to scroll down for time. All right here. You should water these plants every other day. This is an exact time. This is telling you exactly when to do it. And our definite frequency ones are every day, once a week, twice a month, three times a day, every other day, daily, monthly, weekly. So daily means every day, monthly means once every month, weekly means one time every week. And this comes to the question, how often, how often? So for me, the pronunciation can be different. So I say how often. I put the pronunciation on the T. 
Some people put it on the F, how often. You need to know both. You need to know both. So it can be pronounced two different ways, how often. When I came to Japan, they didn't understand what I was. They said, oh, you're pronouncing often wrong. It's often. I said, the T's there. You got to say the T, often. They said, no, you don't say the T. So in Japan, they don't say the T. They say often. How often do you do it? But for me in America, we say often. All right. So how to answer, how often do you do something? When someone says often, they want an exact or definite frequency. They want to know how many times you do this. So when you want to do this, you put the number times plus A plus time period. And time is a singular now. So you don't put times. You don't put periods. Here you go. So right here. So the number three times a month. How many times you do it? You put the word times, A, and then month. So you don't say three times a month, four times a year. This will always be singular. All right. But there's an exception. Because remember, in English, we have different counting verbs or different counting words. We have once, twice, thrice. Uh, we say, some people say thrice. But right here. But there's an exception to this rule for the first two numbers. We do not say one time, we say once. So we don't say one time, we say once a day. We don't say two times, we say twice. And then after that, you can go three, four, five. Here are some examples. He has lunch with his mother once a week. Once a week. She visits the dentist twice a year. I brush my teeth three times a day. So just remember for one and two, it's once and twice, like the K-pop group, twice. Mike goes to the gym four times a week. Mike is lucky. I wish I could go to the gym four times a week. Right here. So here, I'll leave some, uh, this is some more examples if we have time, but we don't. But I just wanna leave you guys here. So remember, these can be placed at the beginning of a sentence. Usually, normally, often, frequently, sometimes, occasionally. Always, seldom, rarely, hardly, ever, never, cannot. So I'll leave this here. So you guys can see. And what is it? Ah, like annually, yes. Annually is once a year. Once a year. So I go to America annually. Uh, let me see. I think. Mm, I would think so. I have to think about it. I have to think about it. Oh, wait, Vika, don't go. You're going to miss the prizes. We're at the end. You got to stay for the quiz. You win free stuff. But let me think. Mm, I have to look. I'll look. I don't know the top of my head. But that's a good question. All right, so what is it? Where are, the, are there any questions before we start the next quiz? So I taught you everything you need to know to pass. Oh, except, except the negative. So if you want to say negative, just put not or do not before the adverb. So all you need to know, I'm not usually late. I'm not usually late. There we go. All right. There we go. The quiz is going to be about frequency adverbs going to be exactly about that. And I'm going to pull it up right now. Do, 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 I have to do it with my, my mouth because, oh, I got a message. All right, it's fine. Do, 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 do. All right. So we're on day two. And I'm going to share this quiz with you guys. I always, I usually always win. Okay. I hardly ever use it. Look at you guys. You guys are ready. All right. So quiz day two. All right, you guys. So go ahead. Scan this with your phone if you can. Remember, remember, remember. 
I can find you. Log in with your email. Log in with your email. Please. I don't want to have to keep your prizes because I will take them and I will eat them. Here we go. Now I want to listen to Hard to Break. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. All right, we got two people in. All right, two people. Do, do, do. All right, let's see. We got seven people. Give you guys one more minute, one minute to log in. Ooh. I listen to everything. That's the best way I learn languages. Right now I'm learning Korean. I learn everything through music. I listen to everything. There's nothing I don't listen to. I can't say favorite. I enjoy poetry. All right, one minute's up. All right, I'm gonna start the quiz. All right, three, two, one. Oh, you live in Vietnam. Oh, that's awesome. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. We're gonna start the quiz. And if you did not get into the quiz, it's okay. Scan this QR code right here. Jump in. All right, good job. All right, close by one point. Remember, the faster you get in, oh, we just did this one. We just did this one. This one's difficult. Mm, I'll switch that one around a little bit, but yeah. Oh, these are easy. These are easy. There we go. Good job. Man, maybe this quiz too. I need to make some difficult quizzes.
Strange. My friend just got married. Send me a message. <laughs> when obviously. There we go. She gets sick in the winter, obviously. Yeah. You guys should get this one right. There we go, rarely. Oh, wow. Oh, this one's difficult. Oh, okay, it is more difficult. There we go. Remember the rule. You can't, you can't uh with always. Well, the obvious answer is dog, because dog is an adverb. He plays the piano hard. Brum, brum, brum. He dog. All right. Oh, Lily's coming back. Let's go, Lily. Team Lily. Oh, you, Lily is coming back. Japanese bobtail, what's happening? Last one. Push. Push. Who's number one? Three, two, one. Ah, oh, difficult. Ah, oh, so close. English boy won. English boy, are you a, are you a native speaker? Oh my gosh. All right. That quiz was difficult because you need to understand context as well. But good job, everyone. So what is it? We'll uh, maybe you know take a record of this, and hopefully 
you logged in with your email. But good job to everyone. Good job. Ah, second. Oh, good job. All right, with that being said, guys, we're done for tonight. That's it. Good job, everyone. And uh, what is it? If you have any questions, I'll stay around for like one minute. Oh, no problem. Any questions, questions, comments, concerns, complaints, coffee? Anybody want to buy me coffee? Oh, no. Thank you guys for being awesome. And remember to come back tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be doing something different. Let me see. Please show me the schema with the green color. What green color? What, what schema? The green color. What these these things in the back? This right here. No, no. What is schema? I don't know what that means. Oh, someone raised their hand. All right, let's see. Do 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 do. What's up? Oh, what what question do you have? I don't know. One more time. I don't know anything. Oh, you don't know anything. That's okay. What is it? It's good that you came here. Everyone has to start somewhere. So if you want advice on where to start with English, I would say start with um, maybe something like your favorite book. Start with reading and also find a language partner. But, um, oh, you're a little kid. Oh, you're a little kid. Ask your mom and your dad. There you go. Talk to your parents. Ask mom and dad. There we go. Talk to mom and dad. Mom and dad knows what's best. All right. So that being said, we're five minutes over time. And I'll see you guys later. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Where, where is your clothes? Get a shirt. We're in class. <laughs> See you. Sorry. Sorry. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.